Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I just wanted to have a quick little skit um, and talk about one crankbait that I think that you should add into your box. Now, this little crankbait is probably one of my favorite crankbaits now. This crankbait is extremely cheap. Um, it's made by a company called Norman, I'm pretty sure. Um, and it's the all-white shad with the red eyes and just the individual black dot. As you can see, it's on both sides. Now, the thing about this crankbait is, first of all, it's a very cheap crankbait, so when initially you're looking at it, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna freak out, you know, you're gonna be like, uh, I don't, if I'm gonna buy a crankbait, I'm gonna make sure it's worth my money, um, and I get what I pay for, but, um, I've been using this crankbait for many years, and as you can see, it's really beat up in the front, it's really beat up, has a little, has a little dent in the side. And man, I'm telling you what, man, these fish just destroy this bait, especially if your lake has shad in it. Uh, Green River Lake around me, these things hit all day long on. Uh, I'll get some footage up for y'all soon on that. Um, and ponds. I, I, this right here is a pond monster because it's not a shallow diving crankbait. I think this is the uh, three to five foot, I think, three to five foot uh, running bait. And uh, my pond doesn't have a lot of rocks in it. Um... So this thing actually drags through the mud pretty okay, just, you know, a, a, like a normal crankbait. But one thing about this crankbait that stood out to me is these hooks. I don't know if you can see that, but these hooks are extremely sharp for being on a crankbait. I think they're normal, maybe size 1, size 2 trebles. Um, and they're, they're built pretty superior. Uh, I got a crankbait over here. I got a, I got another crankbait that's a, a little bit higher quality. This one's kind of dirty, but this one's built, this one's built by Bomber, and this is the FF Fingerling one. And I mean, of course, they're two different, they're two different, you know, sizes and kind of styles of bait. But the original hook, the original hooks on these are already, um, already bent. I don't know what they, what they use on the bombers. This one has a rattle in it, but the hooks on these things are really sharp. Now, I know a lot of y'all, y'all actually buy the crankbaits and y'all uh, change the hooks yourself, but there's no need to do that with this one. They come out razor sharp. Uh, the hooks are not made with some kind of weak plastic. They're actually made with really uh, heavy-duty metal. Um, I've been running this thing pretty hard. Uh, Green River Lake, which is a really um, uh, rock-based lake, tons of rocks, and you see the the nose of it's not too beat up like a cheap bait would be it's not snapped off or anything um and this little hook right here on the top uh you can it's actually adjustable i know some crankbaits i've got they're not adjustable um only complaint is the ridge line you can see where they casted it together but um i don't think the fish can see that so i don't think it matters so um this has just been a quick look at a bait that maybe y'all should give a try. It's, it's, it's the Normans. It's, it's the company. Uh, they're a great company. Really good price. You know, that you can find them almost anywhere. And I tell you what, you really need to go grab you one of these shad with the red eyes. Um, and try it out for yourself. Uh, put in the comment section below if, if you've tried it, what you think about it. Um, other than that, that's pretty much been it, guys. Um, I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.